Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So on yesterday's video, I filmed a shop with me. So today I am sharing my Dollar Tree haul. So if you are interested in seeing what I picked up from the Dollar Tree, stick around. Okay. So the first thing that I picked up was these sparkly sequency pillows. My girls are like obsessed with this stuff. And I'm not quite ready to buy their Valentine's Day gifts yet. Brian and I normally give them both a gift from us. Just like some little chocolates, maybe a balloon and a toy. But I thought these would be a really cool addition to give them. Um, because they just love these sequins. So we picked up two of those. And the only reason why I picked them up now is because this is something that I haven't seen there before. These heart-shaped ones. And I'm just worried that if I wait until... Valentine's Day they will probably be gone so I just went ahead and snagged my two and then I also picked them up some lip gloss these are little jeweled lip glosses I got the white one and this like mint one I thought that these would be really cute and I got um, two separate ones so the girls knew which one was theirs I picked up some dice, and these are the good dice. Now, if you, um, <laughs> when I say the good dice, if you play dice or any kind of game that needs dice, these are the dice to get. I'm going to open this pack and show you why. Y'all guys know my family. We are huge, late gamers. We like to play games together, mostly on Friday nights, but anywho. See how they're, like, curved edges? They're not straight boxes. These um, help help it roll better. So, <laughs> these are super great. And I've bought dice from the Dollar Tree before, and they have been squared ones. So, make sure you're getting the um, rounded. There you go. There's a good, good angle. How it's, like, rounded right there. Yeah. So, those are good. And um, for, we like to play 10,000. We use this to play marbles. All kinds of stuff. And then I got little Miss Sophie some more hair accessories. Um, she likes green. So we pretty much just pick the green out of these. So, I mean, you could tell we go through them quite a bit because green is not the primary color in this. So yeah, more of these. Which for only a buck, I don't mind her just picking out the color she likes. And then I got her these little mini hair clips. So cute. I don't know if she's going to let me use them in her hair. If she will, it's probably just going to be the greens. But yeah. And then I got myself some of this dry shampoo. Now this is a different kind than they normally carry. And I'm really excited about this because I am like a dry shampoo like fanatic. Oh, oh my gosh. This one smells amazing. This one's the Blossom. Wow, I'm going to have to go back and get some of that. What is this one? This one's the Crisp. That one didn't smell like anything. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I like this one better. <laughs> um, and then I picked up some of this detangler. This is the kind Sophie and Emma and even Brian are loving. This one is supposed to smell like cotton candy. And I don't think it smells like cotton candy to me. I think it just smells like, I don't know, really sweet. So I guess, yeah, cotton candy. But my kids love this stuff. Um, we were out of town when we ran out. And I filled, uh, put some conditioner and some water to get us through. Because this stuff just is amazing. And I think that that's it for... Oh, um, I picked up Brian a pack of pins because, oh, I haven't told you guys this. Um, Brian, I know some of you knew because I, you know, we talk 
privately, but Brian is starting school on Monday, so he's going to need these pens. And so these are three black inked pens, so but they're ballpoint. So, so I just thought these would be good for him to take to school. And then I'm really excited about this next thing. This is cat pan liners. And like you guys know, we have a cat. So I thought this would be pretty cool to pick up and check out. So it says you put the liner in place, you fill with litter, and then when it's time to remove the liner, you just um, pick the liner up and it ties like a bag. So that's super cool. Because uh, with our cat, we don't like scoop. I know that like a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, you're wasting so much litter. We just dump it all out. Like when she goes to the bathroom, it's gone. Cause like, I just, the whole scooping thing just, ugh. So yeah, I'm excited to give these a try. Let me know if you have tried them. And then the rest is food items. Now these are my favorite jelly beans of all time. Ah! So these are just the Starburst jelly beans. One year for Valentine's Day, Brian bought me like 10 pounds of these in all different flavors. Because you know how they have all the flavors at Walmart. And he bought me like, not kidding, like 10 pounds. And but yeah, so I was kind of excited to see these at the Dollar Tree. Um, this is probably enough to last me by myself one day. I don't know. They're so addictive. Like, so yummy. I probably shouldn't have bought these. I probably should hide these from the kids so I can eat them myself. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go, after this video, I'm going to go hide them in my room. And then I picked up... <laughs> I can hear it now. Oh, you're so terrible not letting your kids have candy. Oh, they get plenty of candy. Don't get me wrong. I picked up two bags of these asparagus and I'm filling them inside there and they don't feel as thick as they normally are but um, it might be just because I got a different brand. I normally get the Pick Sweet brand but I wanted to try these out. Um, what I do is I put them in the microwave to kind of like thaw them out and then I'll throw them in the skillet with like some olive oil and garlic and so tasty so because asparagus right now in the grocery store is really expensive but we just love it like especially if we have like a uh, piece of steak we like to have asparagus with that so i picked up two of these to give this brand a shot which i'm sure it's going to be amazing and now i'm really 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 excited about the next thing i want to show you guys because it's frozen fruit so i picked up this Sun ripened um, pineapple chunks and this is the same brand as the asparagus but it's already um, chopped up pineapple and you know when you buy frozen fruits or vegetables they are picked at the peak of ripeness and then flash frozen so you know when you open these they're gonna be like you're eating a fresh ripe in season pineapple so I'm excited to give these a shot because um, Brian and I are wanting to start doing more smoothies, especially for our kids. Um, they were doing Carnation Instant Breakfast like every day and they kind of stopped doing that. So um, we want to kind of get them back into doing smoothies. So we figured these would be fun. So we got the pineapple and we got the mango. Now I need to do like a price comparison because you get 10 ounces for a dollar and yeah this one's 10 ounces too so i need to do like a price comparison with like walmart and all these and um, my local grocery stores to see if it's a good deal but right now i was i was at a large tree and i wanted to give these a shot and then this is a different brand and this one is just the blueberries and i was filling this bag and you feel like you get quite a bit of blueberries so, like, if I was buying these fresh in the, in my grocery store right now, they would be in, like, a little, um, little square container. And probably not as many blueberries as I have here would fit in that container for around $4. So, I think this was a really good deal. This, again, was 10 ounces of the blueberries. And I also got 
this is a different brand. Wow, they had they had quite a bit of different brands in their frozen food section. And I'm excited to give these a shot. I don't know. The green should have been. Oh, and this is a different brand. So I got these are strawberries and they fill whole. So I won't I won't really know what they look like until I open it up and give them a shot. But when I do do a um, smoothie video, I will definitely film it for you guys and show y'all. And um, yeah, let me know if you guys have tried the frozen um, fruits at Dollar Tree and let me know if you liked them. So the first two I showed you had recipes on the back to make smoothies and other treats. So that's pretty cool, but the other ones were kind of just plain. But yeah, so that is my haul. I hope y'all enjoyed it. I haven't filmed a shop with me or a haul in quite a long time. So I was really excited to take you guys back to Dollar Tree and then also film this haul. So if you like Dollar Tree videos and want to see more like them, let me know down below because I do this for you guys. So tell me what you want to see and I will get those videos filmed for you. That is it for today. Thanks for watching. Bye guys. Who did this snowstorm? Um, Elsa. Elsa did it? Yeah. Oh my goodness.